Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys a really cool and easy technique for giving your photos a golden glow like you see here. And this is sort of emulating like the golden hour around sunrise and around sunset where everything sort of has this golden glow and it's the ideal time of day for photographers because you get a really cool lighting effect. And so I'll show you guys what this photo looked like before. So there's a before, it's a uh, pretty well lit photograph here and I thought it was a pretty cool composition and then I just went ahead and applied these effects here to give this photo a more of a golden glow. But of course before we get into that I want to direct you guys over to our website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always we have tons of GIMP video and text tutorials on here as well as Project Translate, GIMP playlists, you can support us on Patreon, and of course you can see our poll of the week results so definitely check that out. And you can enroll in our best-selling GIMP photo editing from beginner to pro photo retoucher course on Udemy. And I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So here's the photo that I'm using today and this is a free photo on Pixabay as usual. And uh, so go ahead and hit the free download button here. I went with 1920 by 1280 and hit download. And so that'll download the photo to your computer. Once you've downloaded it to your computer, go ahead and locate that file, right click and go to open with and choose GNU image manipulation program. And there's multiple ways of opening a photo in GIMP, that's just one way. But now we have our composition here and I'm just gonna rename this woman with flowers. So I double clicked on the name here to rename it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate our original image layer and that's just going to help us sort of view the photo before and after we apply the effects. It's just sort of a baseline. So I'll go ahead and come over here and click the duplicate icon. And so now we have the copy right here. And I'm just gonna name this, instead of copy, I'll just put main in all caps. That way we know this is the one we're working on. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is adjust the levels here. So I'll go to colors, levels. And so this is going to bring up our levels histogram here. This is the histogram. And what I wanna do is click on this black triangle here on the left side. This is going to adjust our shadows. And I'm just going to click and drag that over to the right a little bit. And you'll see this is just sort of making our photo a tiny bit darker. I don't want to overdo it, but here is a before and here's an after. So I'll go ahead and click OK. All right, the next thing I want to do is adjust my colors. And this is one of the more important parts of this tutorial. So I'll go to colors, color balance, which is the very first option there. So here we have our colors. And as usual, we've got our three ranges here. So we've got our shadows, midtones, and highlights we can adjust. Now I want to accomplish two things here. I want to adjust the colors of my image overall so that the image just has the colors that I want it to have. And then I also want to add in a little bit of yellow here to make the image look more like it was taken at a golden hour or to just give it sort of that golden glow. And so I'm going to add yellows to my midtones and highlights and I'm going to mostly leave the yellows out of the shadows just because it looks a little bit artificial when I do that. So I'm just going to start by making some adjustments here and I'll add a little bit of red and I'm in my mid-tones, by the way. And I'll tone down some of the greens there. And then I'm going to add a decent amount of yellow. But I don't want to overdo it, because as you can see, that looks really artificial. Like I said, it looks uh, just fake. And it's a little bit too overbearing. So we're going to add a decent amount of yellow here, but we're not going to overdo it. And now I'm going to go over to my highlights and do the same thing, just sort of make some adjustments here. And you may not need to add any or much of these colors here. Uh, so I just added a tiny bit of cyan there, and I really don't feel the need to add any uh, green or magenta there. So basically leave that the same. And then again, we want to add some yellow in here, and we want to try to not overdo it. But you can see this is already getting a golden color here by adding all this yellow. And I'm just going to tone that down a little bit there. And now I'm going to come over here to my shadows and make some adjustments here. And here's a before and after. And you can also apply the split view here so you can kind of preview uh, what your changes look like in real time as you're making them compared to the original photo. And I've actually decided to add a tiny bit of blue to the shadows range here. And that's just to help sort of balance out some of the yellows that we added. Because if we add just pure yellow throughout all the ranges of the image, it might just look a little bit too yellow. And uh, so we want to balance it out a little bit. So there you'll see a before and after. So we have a nice golden glow already. And I'll click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is adjust the temperature of this photo. So I'll go to Colors, Color Temperature. And this is a new feature in GIMP 2.10 and above. 
but here you can adjust the original temperature, which is whatever temperature the lighting was when you originally took the photo. And then you've got your intended temperature, which is the temperature you wanted the lighting to be. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this temperature up a little bit. And we don't have to overdo it because you'll see if I go too far, it'll just turn the image a little bit too yellow orange. So we don't wanna make this too warm. We just wanna make it warmer than the original. So here's a before and here's an after, so much warmer you can see. And if I went the opposite way, by the way, it would turn into a more blue color and would make it a little bit cooler. So we're trying to make this warmer. And I'll go ahead and click OK. The next thing I'm gonna do is adjust the saturation here. So I go to colors, saturation, and this is gonna depend on your image and the colors in the image that you're editing. But I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the saturation up a little bit. That's just what I prefer. And that's gonna to help to bring out some of the colors in here. And as usual, I also don't wanna overdo this. I don't want the colors being too saturated. And I will click OK. Next, what I'm gonna do is shift the white point of this image just to bring out some more of the white pixels in here. So I'll go to Colors, Shadows, Highlights. And if you've got some dark areas of your image where some of the details are disappearing, you can go ahead and crank the shadows up here. I'm just gonna leave that off for now and uh, put this back to zero. But over here you'll see under common, I've got something called white point adjustment. And when I slide this over, you'll see the image will get a little bit brighter and uh, some of those yellow pixels will become a little bit more white. And so I'm just gonna bring that up a little bit. It's gonna make the image look almost overexposed basically in some parts. And we're going to tone that down a little bit in a second. But here's a split view. So on the right is before, on the left is after and I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I'll go ahead and tone some of that down, so I'll go to Colors, Curves. And what I'm gonna do towards the top of this curve is just create a point here and go ahead and drag this very top part of the line down or the top part of our curve. And that's just going to help blend some of those new white pixels we added with the white point adjustment with uh, some of the other pixels. And it's just gonna keep the image from looking a little bit too white or a little too overexposed. And you'll see here I just created another point and just dragged it up a little bit. And that's to adjust the curve and the way those white pixels are fading out in our image. So here's a before and here's an after. You can see that tones down the sky a lot so it doesn't look quite as overexposed. And then I'll click OK. Next I'm going to add like an artificial sun here or basically an artificial light source just to sort of add to the illusion that this is taken during the golden hour. Usually when something is taken during the golden hour, you could see the sun sort of rising in one area of the photo. And so to do that, I'm gonna create a new layer and you'll see I've already named this sun. And I'm gonna come down here and make sure fill width is set to transparency and click okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is grab my gradient tool and I'm going to make sure that the gradient is set to foreground and background RGB. And I also want the shape to be set to radial here. I'm gonna come up here to my colors and right now you can copy my HTML notation here. I have my color set to sort of a whitish yellow color. And I'll click okay. And then my background color is this sort of pale red. And again, you can copy my HTML notation and I'll click okay. The goal of my colors here is to replicate basically the decaying of light coming from the sun. So it usually starts out like white hot in the center. And then as it spreads out, it becomes more of a red color as it decays. And you'll see here, I've got my opacity slider set to around 75. And now I'm going to click right here and drag, and I'm gonna stop right here so that this last endpoint here just overlaps with our model a little bit. And I'm just drawing the sun over here because it's sort of emulating like a sunrise or a sunset where the sun is just above the horizon. And what I want to do is make this last color fade out here instead of having it go all the way to the end of the image. So I'll click on that and I'll come over to color and right here I have my alpha slider and that's going to determine the transparency of the color. So I'll just turn that all the way down to zero and click OK. And so now you see our red color is starting to fade as we get closer to the end here. And you can actually drag this out a little bit more. But what I wanna do now is click on here and I'm basically creating new stops in between our starting endpoint and ending endpoint on the gradient. And that's going to allow me to adjust the color a little bit. Uh, because I don't want this just going from this whitish yellow to this pale red. I want there to be some more saturated yellows in between here. So I'm going to click on this left color here. And I'm just going to drag this up a little bit so that it becomes a little bit more yellow. And maybe move this out a little bit as well so it's a little more saturated. 
and I'll click OK. And then I'm going to move my mouse down a little bit on this line and click to create another stop. And this time I'm going to click on here and maybe make this a little bit more red. And click OK. And then you can also move these stops like so. And this is just changing how the colors are fading out how long those colors are gonna last until they fade out. So your final gradient should basically have a whitish yellow that goes into a little bit more saturated yellow that goes into a little bit of a red color and that finally fades out into that pale red. So I'll just go ahead and grab my move tool to apply that gradient. And this obviously doesn't look super realistic right now so what I'm gonna to do to fix that is click on this sun layer and go to the layer mode up here and change this to hard light. And now this gradient basically looks like sunlight pouring in from the right side of our frame here and it's sort of hitting our subject and it's causing her hair to glow. And so here's before and here's after, and I think that looks pretty cool. So the last thing we're gonna do is create a new layer and I'm gonna name this Vignette and hit Enter. And I'm gonna go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Vignette. And this is just going to frame our image here. So I'll click OK. And then I'm going to come up here and change the mode of this to Soft Light and go ahead and decrease the opacity of this because I don't want it to be super prevalent. So there's a before, there's an after. And so if I hold shift and click on this original layer, you can see this is what our photo looked like before we had any effects on here. And still holding shift and clicking here is after. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash daviesmediadesign. You can also visit our website at daviesmediadesign.com and you can enroll in our best-selling GIMP photo editing course from beginner to pro photo retoucher. And I'll include a link to that as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.